Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to stay on a sim as long as needed before you go live. Uh, now it is uh, 2 26 13 April, and uh, uh, we are uh, looking at the TI 7 with the V8 version as well uh, for Ninja Trader 8. Uh, if you notice on those all those charts here, they are based on minutes. Uh, the five minutes ES, four minutes ES, uh, three minutes, one minute ES. Uh, you can use that auto trade for any YM, CL, anything you want, DAX. Uh, you can use that auto trade uh, on um, a different instruments, can approach any instruments actually to have around eight different entries and then eight different filters where you can cut this auto trade from a scalping to swing trading risk reward and uh, uh, and it is a, a very is a big auto trade but in the same time it is a friendly use where you can use a big variety of filters and um, we are using uh, on the V8, we just released uh, a couple of weeks ago. We are using the highest technology uh, and we have approached Ninja Trader optimization differently than anyone else. We did something very new for the optimization. So it is important to use the latest technology uh, to stay updated in the trade. I cannot put everything in there, but there is a still a lot of a trades open today. I mean, the market is not really moving that much, but uh, one of the features also, uh, when you are trading, and even if your uh, daily target is uh, 1,000, and as an example, uh, you have 1500 the auto trade is not gonna shut down because it's coming to your favor and it's going to stay uh, sometimes and here is a ym also uh, you can see this daily target is uh, 1000 but because the trade is coming to your direction so it's not closing on 1000 it's staying and now it is uh, 1700 and uh, let me try to see uh, this is an example for the nasdaq uh, also today it was a, uh, a daily target 1000 but because the market is going to your favor and the market is trending uh, the auto trade is gonna stay on so even if you have on that last trade, your target is seven, eight hundred dollars or a thousand dollar. You're still gonna be closing at nineteen ninety-five. So this is a really, and sometimes it goes a little bit above one thousand. Uh, this is an example here. Uh, also on the Nasdaq, uh, this one is a one-minute Nasdaq, and this one here is a one-minute Nasdaq, but uh, it's the same auto trade with a different template and uh, this one here 1350 the daily target is uh, 1000 and this one here also the daily target is 1000 but for for this one here the market catch a beautiful trend in early and uh, uh, it did a beautiful job on it and sometimes I'm just want to show some example on some kind of trades like this is the same auto trade but we have it in the scalper mode and you can see also it is filtered and you have one trade two trade three trade and then nailed a thousand so it's the same auto trade and it doesn't matter you can cut it those are all Nasdaq and you can cut it to be aggressive and take a lot of a trade and you can cut it down to two couple of three trades quality entries or you can be in between uh, and you can do scalping or swing trading on this one here 
uh, I'm covering the, f the same instruments to see uh, how it works with that. Uh, this is uh, the NASDAQ as well. And it is the same auto trade, the TI7 for Ninja Trader 8. And there is a V8 version with the highest technology for optimization as well on it. Uh, we are constantly updating all the system using the latest technology. Where the others are still behind, are still using Ninja Trader 7, and uh, they are way behind. So as you see here, also this one here is a $1,000 uh, daily target. And we nailed 3,000 because the last trade was into our favor. There really, you can see the difference when uh, uh, I use mainly for the DAX. Uh, uh, I use uh, four minutes for the DAX constantly. Uh, I don't use the DAX one day rank a bar and another day take chart. No, no. I use two minutes or four minutes for the DAX. And uh, especially you can see the different uh, today. I mean, we had one losing trade between, uh, but normally the DAX can uh, grab a beautiful trade. And uh, and uh, today it made only 500 euro above the daily target. But uh, on a normal day when the DAX is trending, it uh, can be a lot different than what we are looking for. So this is uh, the, we are very, uh, very proud of uh, this new technology we are using and the things is also uh, what we have done also uh, if you notice you have a four contracts here and you have a four different one is a stop loss for safety one is for a break even and one for trailing stop what we have done we have separated them they're not all in one and this way a trader also can take advantage of uh, the the trading stop independently, uh, breaking even independently, and the safe uh, stop loss is there, and it never move for safety. So this is a really something um, we uh, we have the system separated, and uh, uh, and also uh, uh, you can you can. Uh, uh, Use one target, two target, three target, four targets, whatever you want. Let me try to also, there is an option. I mean, this one here, as you notice, this one here is a base on the trailing stop, stop lost. And uh, we notice there is some traders, uh, they have weakness with the trailing stop, stop lost, and they don't know how to optimize or something. And then if you want to you can uh, this is another example um, on this auto trade it's the same auto trade you can use uh, set up your parameters here on a trading stop stop loss or anything the other option we have done to the traders you can put the trailing stop and the stop loss even the break even on zero the auto trade can take care of itself but on this one here, I have interfered with the break even. So in other words, after the auto trade, take a trade, it breaks even, and there is no trailing stop and a stop loss here. But the auto trade will take over. As long as this market going in the proper direction and the auto trade can figure out we are on the right direction, it's not gonna close the position and we have the trailing stop and the target on zero. However, when the market is changing direction, the auto trade stops automatically, close position, and if we want to, we can reopen position or we can hit the target. So all this latest technology, it is a very friendly use, especially for the new beginners, especially for people who are struggling uh, we have also uh, built some kind of a high time frame uh, for the new beginners to start using a higher time frame, iron all those noises in the market. So there is so many ways from a scalping to swing trading to trading a stop to stop loss, have it automatic 
you can put all of them on zero, let them run, and let the auto trade figure out which direction. Also, in the same time, what we have, uh, we can also do this. If you, if you are happy for what you see, and you're not willing, or you don't want it to um, stay on the trade, or you think you want to secure your profit, you don't want it to take it any more trade. You can use this one here. It takes millisecond, and now I close the position. I secure seventeen hundred dollars on that, and now the auto trade hit the target. You can also uh, there is uh, you can direct the auto trade to long only if you want to. And if you want to, you can direct the auto trade to short only. Whatever you want to do, you can do. Or if you think you're happy with 1700 on an ES, we just close it and call it off for today. Uh, right now it is uh, 2.36 p.m. It, it is over for today. We are, we are done. Now all the auto trades, they are about to close. So you can close position and call it off for today and secure your profit. Or if you want it to stay longer, you can stay longer, as you see here. Uh, whatever you want to do, you can do. Uh, this is one system, and I would like to share the other system as well. Uh, we have also, uh, we cannot cover everything. We have a, a reversal automated trade. We have so many different automated trades. There is around eight, nine auto trades in your uh, package. Uh, but I want to show the signal uh, automated trade. Uh, this is a, a different type of an automated trade. On the right upper corner, you can see there is a 15 second uh, an auto trade. And this one here is a base on a signal entry. This is a very advanced automated trade. And uh, this one here sets itself the target and can measure each trade is different target and uh, a base on the fib line as a trail and a stop. Even when you are scalping on a 15 second, and if the market is trending, the auto trade automatically expand the target by itself and a turn from a scalper to swing trading. For the blue chart, for the white uh, chart, we use uh, the automated scalping 15 second. The market analyzer now just took uh, some of the trades. It's not the whole day, it's on the last entry signal and uh, we just fired the new signals in there from this last trade and we still on one of those trades on the es for 122.50 41.34.50 is your target and this one here 37 take a base on one contract and here it is based on one contract and it is the target right there 41 but i have expanded the target or you can leave it where the auto trade left it and this is on one entry. On the NASDAQ, there is 75 ticks and uh, 23 ticks on the YM, CL5 ticks. I mean, it just turned around the market. As you see here from the left upper corner, we just have a, 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 the signal fire on the gold. And when the signal fire on the gold does mean the gold has taken a trade. And here it is, sell. And here is it, here it is, set on the target set your trailing stop automatically on your fib line and this is it and this one here you cannot optimize because it's based on a, your data from day to day so now we have we still have on the left upper corner this is the automated swing trader we use the blue chart and it is based on uh, one minute and uh, this is as an example the Ru the russell uh, there is a uh, two contracts on the russell if we look at the Russell buy at 22.10, target to 22.24, and it's right there. You can expand the target or you can the, the automate it, uh, uh, hit this one here. Also on the ES, I have expanded the target, but the auto trade put it right there, and the auto trade has estimated that the probability of the target is going to be hit at 41.32.75. On those kind of auto trade, you cannot optimize. You just turn them on and off. There is five different automated to trade for the signal from ATM, ATM strategy, fully automated, pullback re-entry on the FIB, two auto trade, pullback re-entry on the FIB. So it is one type of a trading, 
and that it is a total different type of an auto trading and has no connection between those two at all. This is one independent auto trade and that one is total different independent auto trade. I want to say thank you very much for today and uh, God bless you all and uh, see you on the next channel uh, uh, live uh, a day after tomorrow on Thursday. Bye for now.